Body shaming is the act or practice of mocking or stigmatizing someone by making critical comments about the shape, size or appearance of a person's body. Now, the African People's First Political Party came forth to be the voice of the voiceless after a video of a man who was publicly body shaming the newly crowned Zulu King's wife and those who are big bodied and obese went viral on social media, which is a very sensitive topic for many, not only in South Africa, but globally too. Good evening. My name is Zola Shalwana, welcome to the Wednesday edition of Soweto Today. Tonight we are in discussion about the video that went viral where a man was body shaming and insulting the Zulu king and his wife, how the APF party came to confront this issue and to hopefully put an end to body shaming by finding possible solutions on how we can respect each other as a people. Now joining us in studio via Zoom is Dududu Mahano, who is the chairperson of the APF in the Gauteng province. Mr. Mahano, welcome to Soweto today and thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, Zola, and uh, uh, good evening to your listeners as well. Now, uh, for the viewer who's watching now and does not have an understanding of what body shaming is, please break it down to us. Um, I think, uh, Zola, in short, body shaming is when you are uh, shaming someone or speaking negative uh, of someone's attributes. Mm -hmm. um, or, or using someone's attributes uh, to insult them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 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 according to your understanding, what would you say is the difference between someone who's obese and someone that's thick or big-bodied, as most people would say? Um, I think there's a fine line, Zona, uh, in defining that. But I think also what's important, particularly in this case, um, is, is that it's, it's not my duty uh, to be able to define what the next person is. And it's not my, I don't have a right uh, to tell somebody else what they look like, what they should look like, uh, and, 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 and use that against them or, or shame them in any way uh, for, for however they look. Um, if we allow this to continue, it will move from uh, what size I am, to what I look like, to the color of my skin, uh, and this will get out of line and it's get out of control. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, it's often difficult to have conversations about our bodies because for many years society dictated and painted a picture of um, how people should look like when maybe you're healthy and how beautiful people should look like. You spoke about, um, you know, complexion, you spoke about how someone's body should look like. How do you think we can break this stigma? Um, Zola, I think it's important that we talk about it uh, as we are doing now and raise the issues so that um, our com communities can understand and uh, not sensitize issues that are insensitive um, and not sens sensationalize issues that are insensitive. This, for many years, uh, particularly in our education system, we've been trying to, uh, to fight uh, uh, body shaming, bullying, uh, of children because we understand uh, of the impact of the impact that it has o on them and now it's being done by adults mm -hmm. um, uh, so it seems like we are being um, uh, backwards so to speak where now um, adults are, are taking over that space to body shame and insult i think more um, of it is that what is said about it is that it's insulting it, mm -hmm. it, you cannot call somebody uh, who is older than you, a parent, a mother, even if that was being said to my mother. I don't mm -hmm. think it's any of your business to tell the world that my mother is fat. Mm -hmm. That in our culture, Jim, is, 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 is insensitive. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not correct, and it cannot be correct. And we cannot remain silent about this issue, and we will not, not remain silent. We are actually shocked as a community that uh, someone, a man out of all, felt it uh, correct to speak about a, a mother, a, a woman, a lady in this session on social media just to get likes. Mm -hmm. What lengths are we willing to get to for mm -hmm. us to receive likes on, 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 on social media? And this is incorrect. People mm -hmm. must start, uh, we must correct this. People must start uh, learning that we, we cannot be liking and, 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 and uh, sensationalizing issues that are incorrect. And APF will not accept it. We will not have it. Mm -hmm. 
Now, um, as a political party, why did the video of the man who was body shaming um, the, the Queen speak to you to a point where you needed to do something about it? Um, I, I think the most important uh, is that of our pillars, we have five pillars, and one of our pillars is Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. And it speaks of respect, it speaks to the black child. And this, had, uh, this video has stepped upon that toe where uh, we, we, we cannot allow uh, black children to continue in this fashion. It is incorrect, we were not brought up in this fashion. It is incorrect to insult anyone. Mm -hmm. And to then sensationalize it because we want uh, views on social media or whatever it's called is incorrect. And that's basically what we are saying. We are uh, raising that pillar of Ubuntu and we are saying, Jenna Bantu, Asi Gumelega Ubuntu, Singaze Situge, Abanyabantu, Nenma Ubuntu, Skulu Tandwa, Nomabanyabantu, Bachabule Madoka, Abuko Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you. We, we do not accept that. Mm -hmm. So well, what do you think the problem is here and also what do you think we can do as a society because that video was taken by an adult you know it could be maybe it would have been a different case if it was taken by a younger person but that doesn't mean that that person was not going to be brought into book what do you think society can do differently so that we avoid such cases I mean young men were watching that video some of them were actually you know laughing at that finding it funny what do you think we should do dif differently as a society to avoid such I think what is the first step, uh, Zola, is for us the, as uh, as the APF community or the community at large, South Africans, uh, to to speak against this. Mm -hmm. We must uh, show that this is not acceptable, and the more we show people that it is not proper to do such and to act in such a fashion, uh, the more, more people will understand that this is incorrect and accept that it's incorrect, mm -hmm. and hopefully society will change its views and in perceptions of, on, on such issues, Partic particularly thinking it's a joke and trying to find lights on, 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 on shaming other uh, 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 human beings. That's just incorrect. Mm -hmm. The conversation obviously continues after the air break. Now we get to in the, imp the importance of respecting your leaders and how the Zulu king was insulted by being called Umfana, which loosely translates to a young boy as well as the action that the APF took to make sure that this issue is dealt with accordingly. Make sure that you stay with us. Welcome back to Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. If you've just tuned in tonight, we are talking about the issue of body shaming, the difference between being big bodied and obese, as well as a video of a man that recently went viral on social media, a man who was body shaming and insulted the Zulu king and his wife, and how the African First People Party intervened to put an end to the stigma. And we are still joined in studio via, uh, via Zoom by Dududu Mahano, who is the chairperson of the APF, APF in the Gauteng province. Now, sir, I'd like for us to get in straight into how the men in the video belittled the new Zulu king uh, by calling him Umfana. What is the importance of respecting our leaders and how do we educate our people um, about the different ways of talking, especially to um, our leaders or about our leaders? I think Sibashon <laughs> At the Lady Hope, we are going to Long Mumun and Sugati. I call them that to that Moba Baba Wak, no Mauba Baumu, which I never get them to Mumu, his Baba on a man, but when I look for Jabu. So, you know, the APFC still started the left large blows. So, we must speak against this. And then, when the yellow people made the Kube, not in general community, APF would die. Now, um, um, I mean, 
you will have to correct me on this one. Um, so much has been said about our political um, leaders, particularly about our president. You know, publicly, people will take um, videos of shaming our president, and nothing has really been said about that. You know, we haven't heard anything um, from political parties. And someone said something about the Zulu king's wife, and, you know, political parties, uh, well, yours to be specific, stepped in and said, we need to bring this person to book. Why is that um, there's, we only see movement now? Why is that there was no movement when something was said about the president, Sir Ramaphosa, and other leaders? Um, well, uh, actually, it's not that we haven't said anything about it. We have. We have been communicating it in our uh, public forums uh, that it is incorrect. Just as we've been saying that Ubuntu is one of our pillars, and this is what we preach at APF. That Ubuntu is, is one of those pillars that Ubuntu made to get to the team at Nabantu. This was a pillar. Ubuntu made to the team at Nabantu. So, the law was a little bit about it. It was a little after the event. It was a little bit about it. What about the next person who might not be able to deal with the situation? It really can't be. And this really shows that we still have a long way to go so that, as South Africans because in other African countries this is strictly prohibited. Now, in a statement that you released, you mentioned that you'll make sure that the man in the video faces um, the arm of the law. How far is the process? Um, we are in the process of opening a, a, a case against him um, and uh, we will uh, let the law take its course, but we will not rest until the law has taken its course. We, um, we, we, we have trust in, 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 in the justice system and we, we trust that even in this case uh, the law will prevail. Mm -hmm. Now, um, adding to that, you know, we hear a lot of cases of cyberbullying in schools and, you know, uh, body shaming. What do you think the government, or rather, would you say that the government is doing enough to educate the public about, you know, body shaming and cyberbullying? Because the only time that we see some sort of movement is when someone has committed suicide. Um, I think we uh, need to take it back to schools. We need to take it back to uh, communities, Zola. We need to speak more about it. And that is why we are grateful of the opportunities and the platform you've given us, because we need to speak more of this. Mm -hmm. um, it is one of those things like gender uh, violence, where we constantly need to talk about it and raise awareness about it so that our communities, our kids know it is incorrect. We need to be able to say, when my friend body shames somebody, bullies somebody, we, 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 we right there and they immediately cut them off and call them to order. Until our society gets to that level, we must continue speaking about it. Um, uh, uh, our, our media must assist us. We must not take a break because if we take a break on this particular issue, it will continue and we will lose another life or we will have somebody uh, going into depression, depression and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Now, we want to understand that, do you have any specific uh, strategies that you're currently working on as a political party to help the spread of awareness of, of, of body shaming and also, you know, cyberbullying? Um, we are, uh, as an organization, uh, meeting uh, to, to, to look at how we can anticipate of the, of the programs we currently have to include um, uh, this agenda um, and you will see in the next couple of weeks and so on as we, we, we talk more about it we create awareness about it we speak about it in our platforms we speak about it in our communities we speak about it all the time and now more than ever uh, as we feel it is now important because things have gotten out of line. Mm -hmm. Mr. Makano thank you very much for joining us we really appreciate your time sir.
Thank you. Thank you, Zola, and thank you for your listeners. Now, after the ad break, we will be introducing the chairperson of the APF's Women's League, who will be taking to, um, talking to us about the specific solutions on how we can encourage more conversation and how we can change the generational stigma and make it more positive. We will see you right after this. Welcome back. You are still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. Unfortunately, we have reached the last segment of the show and we are still talking about body shaming and how a video of a man went viral on social media after speaking about how being obese and big bodied is basically not regarded as being beautiful or either as beautiful or healthy and how he went on to insult the new Zulu king and his wife. But most importantly, how the APF party jumped in to make sure that is, that is put to an end. And we are now joined by the president of the APF Women's League, Ms. Doli Singani. Ms. Doli, welcome to the show and thank you for joining us, ma'am. Thank you, Zola, and uh, good evening to the listeners at home. Now, as I mentioned before the ad break, um, I would like for us to focus on solutions now, mainly. How can people normalize uh, making sure that conversations around our different shapes and sizes are okay? And how can we encourage those who are uncomfortable with how they look? Zola, it's then the same to as APF for city. In general, band the C Fazani, a good thing would he see body shame way, but who finally sits on each one. A bastoni palanja digging would he bust touching you like a bastoni pet. In general, bastoni bastoni pet, a makai. Who are you, would he more harm by Jacob's school and our Uzuna Zamuga when I go up and get my booty? We ask booty corner back the guy. Goba no who finna segli de la ecteni ube uluze is self confidence, ufine now soon as a tandy should pumele miam so saba no tubome abanya abant. So tina see APF we want to put an end to pull oko. Go good he sends the example madam Lisa do or go to shame a unjovugaz. Ebe enga tinanga put you unjovugaz with pela, epin dewa de lela is it no ukobulas. Mm -hmm. um, uh, before the ad break, I, I asked, um, you know, I, I asked uh, Mr. Well, the, the, the leader that we had previously, and I said, why is that the political party is only making a move now? Is it because it's now King Misuzulu that's been, you know, body, well, King, King Misuzulu's wife that's being body shamed, or you just wanted to make example an example about this particular guy? Why is that you're only making a move now? Because a lot has been said about, about our president, a lot has been said about, you know, your closer kings, and a lot of people who are in the leadership spectrum. Um, Siwenzi le nakaleni ukuti siba kali imina ba ebebe kuluma gaba ngongo ngo kapunga zungo president wage esige sa Paul and jenge ngongo president ila bembiza kona ne sipe sag ukuti ne sipe asi asi chati jenge ukuti panele chini na bantu ji si si kulu me si APF si visa na kulu na lo ngo ba lo ba uchu ukuti jenge umuti osme le ezwe ni e umonga mewe wage asi mshoni ni agona pele ge ukuti Ubuntu. <laughs> Sifuna ukumbisa ngaye abe ni example kuti fanela hambe agini la abe ni la injenga na seka ya eka imse cha seka ya ilande la kuti inkoni pe ya seka ya ilande uvunjo je fanele kesi ngabi kuti ukubana I'm speaking about inkoni pe ya seka ya Sorry to interrupt you there, ma'am. Yeah. Um, uh, speaking about Kuli Swan and Johnny Persakai, in the video, the man mentioned uh, the kind of environment that he grew up in. And how do you think that our parents can play the role in changing how they talk to their kids and actually make sure that they make their children understand that um, they are beautiful the, just the way they are? Um, Ngoba awukhona ukuthi uthi uthe lo ukuthi ungabusho lo but futhi kubeke wena ukutsho 
Kila kuli kazi njegule instances kuli mangao njenga manje ese materi leye njofu kazi ni esilo. Au wazi ngempele au uti uti uuzu umzu njegaye. Uvelu kuli mega njegaya na gendo kazi no manje esilo. Futi kona umzu njegalo au wazi ndelela u president uenizwe donge uvelu mdelele mchama la zizu ilake alipe. So agi onito nipo yona lepele akuli mangawe no ma indela yena akuli mangawe ayo nipo 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 now, Ma, there, there, there's someone that is sitting at home, you know, that uh, feels uncomfortable and doesn't feel as beautiful as enough. You know, they're looking at their skin and society says you're not beautiful enough. They're looking at the shape of their body and society says you're not, you're not beautiful enough and the size of their body. What do you have to say to that person? Uh, I would say, Abakume, they are proud of themselves. Babas can go born, and that's how they are. That we cannot change, no matter how Sigushoganja and it's in a born booty. Baba, my amu, Baba, Baba, my yini, there is Nabadiza, my but born at the way I buy yon. Abas can the danger, but if born at the filler, the filler garden, my own, the best of the Puma, that's where Dabuba Pona and the Yokutumuta in the same Lala. To be honest, you can't like usabe ukutu kume nenga padre ni maisi mo oisol. Mwaba umusute ni kufunga kumi uzo babona ni nabandu, maganja ni nabandu, babona ni yabu. So ukele kaya maanje, so sabu kuma ni mayabandu. Mina ni abakuta azu utabaz tande. No manga beba yifu, ufro baba yona, leonda ba yonu kukuni bata lebe njalo, they can't change themselves. Abbaz tande, nati si abatanda, baba yegi la baba ni ababonu kuko, na bayi, na bayi. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing is truly having to accept yourself for who you are and how you are because at the end of the day, God no, made no mistake when he created you. Now, tell us, how important is it for men to be more supportive of women and help them break the chains of this long generational mindset? Uh, for me, I would say is to ignore what Abantu Abak show you and then be who you are. Ngoba by so doing, uzobe uzenzela wena, nuguti wena ukubegele pambi. If you look abanyabantu or listen to his indesho abanyabantu, you will end up ufila uguti, you are not umute kwanele ube uyen. And the head to mkunu mkunu lukta lide. That is why see AFCT as funi abantu, abazo kutishema abanyabantu, ngoba ekwinen baba ligela enjoni na baba nga itat. Ebu nga se futi zbati umes. Ma Sbonga Gakulu, thank you so much for joining us on Soweto today. Thank you so much, Zola, and thank you to the listeners at home. Mm -hmm. Now that was the chairperson of the APF's Women's League, helping us correct the stigma around the body shaming and the importance of respecting our leaders. Well, that's how we wrap up today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to talk to us about the show by simply sending us an email on Soweto Today at SowetoTV.co.za. Alternatively, you can contact us on 11 9333 3, From myself and the rest of the team, we will see you on the next news bulletin that's coming right after this so goodbye for now and thank you for watching